Now, speaking of sin and virtue, I wanted to just touch on Dante a bit. Um, and that is, I'm reading uh, The Inferno with, with this young woman that I'm tutoring. And it is such a different concept. Because as Dante goes further into hell, he sees people whose sins have been more serious. And it is striking to imagine that, say, um, well, for one thing, um, sins of the flesh or the, the, the first circles of hell. They're serious and they can damn you, but they're not as serious as the sins of pride, which he eventually gets into. And that the further down he goes, it's even surprising that, that those who are manipulative and malicious are in a deeper circ circle of hell than murderers. Um, and yet Dante's vision, which as you pointed out when we were talking about the great divorce, it's not, it's not dogma. Yeah, the church has not said Dante's hell is hell. Dante is using his imagination to come up with, with hell, his own vision of it. But Dante's hell is as much of a seamless garment as the teachings of the church. There is something that permeates uh, Dante's vision that is um, so unifying and consistent um, that's in Shakespeare too. I think it's harder to see because Shakespeare is dealing with a greater variety of people and situations. But Chesterton saw that, and I think even Lewis saw that about about the Christian Church. Um, talk for a bit, if you would, Joseph, about that sense of everything fitting together, whether we want it to or not. Drama, in particular. And the dramatic element in stories really shows how no matter what we do, we can't escape the, the judgment of God. Whenever I would love to take a step back, if I can, from, from what you've just said. The important thing about Dante, and one of the many important things about Dante, Dante was a student and a disciple of St. Thomas Aquinas. Mm. So, the, so the theology in Dante's Divine Comedy is Thomistic theology. In other words, it speaks with the heart and the mind of the church. So uh, that's an important thing to know. But, of course, talk, uh, Dante is uh, it's a work of art. So he's taking, if you say, uh, literary license. But why is, for instance, lust not as sinful? Why does it not take us to the depths of hell in the same way that pride does? Hmm. Well, the, the reason is simple. Uh, that pride is the sin of Satan. Satan is an angel. He ha doesn't care about lust. He has no body. Um, uh, and the sin of Adam and Eve is pride. And it's pride that gives us permission, if you like. We give ourselves permission through pride to commit the other sins. Yes. I commit adultery. I commit the sin of lust or the sin of gluttony uh, because I'm proud. Because I decide what I want to do. So pride is the father of all the other sins. And... Dante following Thomas Aquinas says that in lust there is uh, an element of love in the sense that there is a shared dimension to it. Now he's talking about lust in the sense of a relationship. Yes. It's very different from, 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 from lust in the sense of pornography. Uh, and in, indeed, you know, sodomites and, and other people that are purely in it for the, should we say, the the, the pornographic dimension of uh, of that act are much lower down in hell than those who are adulterers, like Paolo and Francesca. Mm -hmm. So it's important to, to distinguish between, first of all, different, different types of lust. All right, So it could be people could be in love with each other in the way that Francesca and Paolo are, or in love with each other in the way that Romeo and Juliet are, and it's as deadly. But there is a love involved. It's a love that's perverted that's and nice. distorted. Uh, so this is all very, very good and profound theology. The other important thing to remember, though, is that the seven deadly sins, pride is the worst, pride is the father of the, of the rest, pride is the sin of Satan, pride is the sin of Adam and Eve, but ultimately talking about how deadly something is when they're all deadly is largely like how many angels can dance yeah, on, on, on the point of a needle. Mm -hmm. They're all deadly, mm -hmm. and they all lead to hell. Mm -hmm. And being on a sort of a lesser lesser level of hell is is scant consolation. It's like saying which poison will kill you the quicker. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, Those which is where... evils is still evil. Yeah, and if you, if you go to hell, then, you know, where you are in hell is of secondary importance.